there you go. We got four more boxes. Yeah, four and a half boxes of triple threads. We'll move that to Thursday unless it sells out after this baseball break. Yeah. If it sells out after the baseball break, we'll break it. But, you know, to continue doing this, we have to sell out breaks. Oh, yeah. Ryan, the winner. Yeah, Ryan. Only a couple yards off, right? Our winners have been like six yards off. Maybe? Scary close. JD was only like two yards off. Yeah. It's been a scary close for the winners. So, Ryan, you get a uh, prize pack, man. We always try and hook you up with your... Uh, your own boys. Yeah, just a little something, something for um, yeah, for playing our contest, winning our game. Should we show him what he's won? Go ahead and get it. I'm in right. chat. Everyone's like, bring all the monsters. We'll get there. All right, Ryan. First up, he's a New York guy. Cool. He's currently on the Grizzlies. There's Zach Randolph, little Jersey relic. Still in the plastic. Back yeah, when he was on New York. He's had so many problems with so many teams, but he's a beast. He looks like it. Slam it right in someone's face. Michigan State finest. And then here we go. For the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Sweet. Five out of ten. That is five of ten. Autographed. Kellen Clemens auto. I was, looking to, I was looking to see if it was a sticker. It says rookie card on it. Oh, and that's his rookie. From 2008 SPX. We'll take it out so you can see it. There you go, dude. There you go. Five out of ten. Kellen Clemens. Auto. For the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Nice free before you. All there you, you got to go. do is guess. And guess what? It's a playoff weekend. Conference. Playoffs. I... I don't even want to talk about it, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. The catch. The not catch. I, I don't know. I was sit, literally s staring at my TV. <laughs> you must have. For like an hour. Uh, like, how is that not a catch for Des Bryant? How? If that's not a catch, what is? Do you know what I mean? Like, if that's not a catch, technically you're like, oh, well, he didn't. But if that's not going up, making an awesome Freaking catch. And they're saying football move, but yet he's diving for the end zone in full control of the ball. I saw him turn and head to the – yeah, to yeah. dive to the end dive zone. Dive for the end zone. That was weird. And the ball comes out. So, if anything, it should be a catch, fumble, recovered in the end zone for a touchdown. I agree. That was weird. Worst case scenario, they're down on the one-yard line. Best case, they give him a touchdown. I thought it was so going to The NFL went a whole different route. Just screw over America's team. Yeah. No, you're not allowed to make one-handed catches. I think now we're a communist country. We have to be. That's America's team. Got it. Turned on them. That was terrible. Uh, to that, the Packers, no less. Being from Chicago, it burns even more that it's the it Packers. Burns, I know it's not yeah. their fault. They didn't have anything to do with it other than give up a touchdown catch. But, that, that's my not, gosh. I know the feeling because that's when Richard Sherman batted away that ball uh, in the end zone in the Super Bowl. Yeah. With the Niners. It's just a sick feeling, a pit in your stomach. Like, the NFC Championship. NFC morning. Championship. Yeah. Did that really happen? Yeah. It wasn't a bad call by a ref, but I know the sick feel. He must have been just looking like, at it going, what is going how on? How is that possible? Now, can you imagine being Jerry Jones or the team or the owners or Dez I himself? Can't. Or Chris Christie. Yeah, or Chris Christie. <laughs> I mean, you get upset as a fan. Imagine being the guy. Exactly, who, the guy who owns the entire team. Oh, my word. Well, he can put his head down on the uh, $60 billion he has or whatever. Yeah, the Ravens took a dump. They're, well, they were winning until the very end. I know. It was unreal. I know. We wanted the Ravens, you know. Unreal. So, what do you do? Can't live in the past. Got to press on toward the future. And 220, the future is now. 226 days till college football starts. So. <laughs> I already checked. <laughs> Literally. That's it. 226. That's really funny. Yep. Well, there you go. All right. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to – all these cases are brand new, fresh cases. We are going to open them all and then number them. And then – what are we going to do? We're going to random the number of the boxes. We're going to let them pick a number in chat. I think what – oh, the one to break? Right. We'll just have someone pick one in chat since okay. there's enough people. But we're going to mark the boxes. Right. I'm going to open them now, and we'll mark them all down. That way it will always be completely left to the room and to random. And that's how that goes. So here's our case of Triple Threads Baseball. So we'll open them, and we'll number them. This will be 1 through 9, there will be 1 through 8, and then 1 through 4 for – the cream of the crop, National Treasures. Yeah, the National Treasures is like the granddaddy. That's not my, my opinion. Oh, 
How many is in that bad boy? It's three niner. That's a niner. Cool. I'll autograph them too. Yes, put a little squiggly wiggly on it. It'll be better than the ZM on the Mettenberger cards. Maybe not. So that's an NJ? That's NJ. That's me. No, that is N. It, it's NJ or the Seattle Mariners. Yeah. Or the M. That's the M. Okay, dope. So do that one, I guess, and then yeah. we'll go through and do the rest. So you want them to pick a box right now? Well, we're going to open... Oh, we are opening triple threads yeah. first. Yeah, do it now. Sorry. I forgot we're doing that first. So yeah. pull out a box of each, and then we'll do the randomizer. You'll get your teams to go. All right. Somebody in chat, first number we see, one through nine. That's our box for tonight. Who feels lucky? First number to pop up in the chat. That'll be the box we crack. Sometimes we just do the first one, but sometimes it's fun just to get a true random... Yep. Where you guys pick and see what's there. Leave it up to you. Yeah. Then you can't yell at us. Three. Three it is. Jason W. What's up, Jason W? He's those. Yeah. Yeah. Jason W. Got your uh, Tom Wilson two mandler ship out with your whole your whole fleet coming to you this week. How about them O's, hon? He's in uh he's in the prime break. We got a whole ha another case of Panini Prime hockey. You missed our last one. You should check it out. Wait. Check out the hits. Everybody e Reezy. E Reezy is a. Uh, Everyone jumped on three? Everybody jumped on three. It's like, so there you go. It was meant to be. All right, I'm recording, recording. All right. So we got our box there. Brand new, fresh case of Immaculate. Man, that's heavy. <laughs> and again, we'll do some other... You might do another mixer like this. You might do... A couple boxes of triple threads, a couple of immaculate. All right, so we're gonna turn it so the letters are facing. Sorry, I'm with you, Nate. I'm just hey, do your thing, man. Yeah, checking tweets and checking One, messages. And two. Looking for tips on ice fishing in case Cookman needs some lines <laughs> out there. I can Google it. We should do that, Nate. What's that? Go ice fishing? Yeah. I've never I don't think I've ever gone actually. You fish, but it's I do fish. Oh nice though, I'm saying. Well I get it. I I get the concept. <laughs> Just never actually have made it to that spot. We need an auger though of some sort. To to dig down? Yeah. Dig into okay. the ice. Guessing. Ask JK how it's done. He probably has the uh the gas powered ones. Just to dive on down in there. Gas powered augers come on. They're heavy duty. Is that a manual? Yeah, that would be annoying. Yeah. I do watch those Alaska shows on Discovery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? Are oh, you numbering them? I'm numbering them. Okay. All right. So immaculates numbered. So refresh the chat. All right, here we go. Immaculate number. Immaculate number one through eight. What we've got here is failure What's to communicate. Four it is. Four? Jason Dub. He's first on the... Jason, put all the rest you, of them back in. No matter where you're at and the National Anthem comes on, Jason, do you still yell O's during the National Anthem? I'm just curious. I need to know. It's important. <laughs> and the O say can you see part. I'm sure you do. Why wouldn't you? Okay. All right. So we got triple threads three, immaculate four. Cookman's coming for the sock series. Yeah, boy. Oh, we're definitely. We'll have to go for sure. Socks tickets are like, they almost give them away. Socks tickets. Yeah. To the White Sox. They're like, you can go for like seven bucks. For the Cubs White Sox game? Nah. He said he's I, coming in. I thought he was going to come for the Brewers. Oh. 
It says, oh, the Sox series. Right. I'm sorry. I was thinking I Crosstown Classic there. for some reason. I don't no. know why I thought that. But I was going to say $7 thought, tickets to Sox. No, no, no. I thought he was coming for the Brew Crew series. Oh, we'll connect. That'll be fun. All right. There we go. Look at that. Look how pretty. There they are. Okay. All right, we got one, two. What's up? Oh, OZ, just being the comedian that he is, Mr. Witty. What's him? All right. We'll refresh chat. He's going to go ice fishing in his freezer. I love it. <laughs> one, two, three, or four from NT Baseball. One, two, three, or four from a fresh case of National Treasures Baseball. Box two says Ereezy. Ereezy's in for box two. All right. All right, so I'm going to stop this record real quick, Nate, and start it over. Sounds like a plan. So that was the random process. Tell the box numbers again. Okay, we got three from Triple Threads, four from Immaculate, and two from National Treasures. Okay. 